Hello and welcome to my gardening journey. I'm John and on this channel we cover everything to do with gardening with a real good focus on growing your own food and becoming a little bit more self-sufficient. In this video I'm going to be covering adding more chickens to your flock and this is part of my chicken series and it's aimed at people who are looking at getting chickens to go into their back garden or down their allotment or possibly into their small holding and you're new to it. So this is a bit of a beginner's guide. I'll link up on the corner of the screen a link to the playlist and I'm adding to that all of the time so hopefully you'll find that helpful. There's a little bit of background, we've had chickens here at home for probably the last four years, I think it was in lockdown when Covid was around we got our first flock. We've had some ups and downs with flocks particularly because foxes managed to get hold of a couple of our flocks before and unfortunately kill them but we're doing quite well at the moment and we've had this flock now for over a year with no major incidents. I think chickens are an amazing addition to anyone who's trying to be a little bit more self-sufficient when it comes to food and knowing where your food comes from. Chickens are very easy to care for and you put food in one end and you get some wonderful eggs out the other and there is nothing better than fresh eggs straight from the coop to use in your cooking. So hopefully I've sold you on chickens and if you've already got a flock, this video is for you. If not, this will hopefully help you, particularly if you are going to get one later on. So in this video, we're just going to cover off some of the things to consider when you're getting new chickens and you're looking to grow your flock. I think it's important to decide why you're getting more chickens before you go and get them, because it can be a little bit disruptive to the flock that you've already got. We're getting more chickens because we want to produce more eggs and also because chickens have a span in their life where they're good at laying eggs and then it starts to tail off. And we want to make sure that we've got a, an average level of egg production throughout the years coming. There are other reasons that you may be looking to add to your flock. One of those could be you've lost a chicken or a couple of chickens to predators, illness or just generally old age. And it's good to replace and refresh the flock. You might also be looking to add to it just to grow it because you like chickens and in my books that's good enough as it is but i do think it's always worth just making sure you're doing it and you know why you're doing it and you're able to look after those chickens once they arrive the first stage of getting more chickens is to look for a supplier one that you hopefully trust if you've not used them before make sure you're able to see that how those chickens are being looked after see their runs and actually be able to look at the chickens before purchasing because you want to make sure that they are healthy and that you're buying chickens that will last you if they don't have reviews and you're getting them from a local farmer or another supplier make sure when you visit that you get to see how they've been looked after so look at their run look how clean they are and look at the health of the chicken that you're purchasing you want to make sure that you can see how well their feathers have been growing whether they've got any bald patches whether they're coughing sneezing are they interacting well is there any lethargy there because they're all signs that they could be either extremely stressed or they're actually unwell and you don't want to be bringing unhealthy chickens into your flock. Our chickens are vaccinated and I know some people may not like the idea of vaccinating their chickens particularly if it's going into the food chain for them and their families. I'm happy with the vaccinations I think they're safe and I'm okay with them but you do you and that's absolutely fine. I can't remember exactly what all of them are vaccinated for at the moment but I will stick them up on screen now so you can see all of the different conditions that our chickens have been vaccinated against and if you've got chickens that you want vaccinating go to your local vet ask them they may be able to do it if not they can point you towards a poultry vet who should absolutely be able to help you. you 
before you get your chickens, you want to prepare to receive those chickens home. And that's about how you're going to introduce them, which we'll go through those steps in a little while. One of the things I would suggest is start to think about how you're going to introduce them, whether you're going to quarantine them or not, and to make sure you've got a space for them to go into initially, because taking them away from the flock they're in at the moment, traveling with them and putting them into whatever their new home is, is going to cause stress for them. So you want a nice space where they're not going to be attacked or given attention by the other hens, and it's a nice dark place for them to start to acclimatize. Everywhere you read will encourage you to quarantine the new chickens before introducing them to your new flock. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't do that with our most recent additions, and that's because I didn't have a, a space to do it, but also I've got these from the same breeder, and I know these ones have been vaccinated as well. So that way I felt a lot more safe doing it. But I would encourage you to, particularly if you're going to a place that is new to you and you've never used that supplier before, and they're definitely not vaccinated, do really consider quarantining them. When you do introduce your chickens to each other, there's again multiple different ways and lots of different guidance online of how to do that. For me, it depends on your setup. So we have a relatively big run. We let our chickens out into the garden. And the importance of space when you introduce chickens is that the new chickens can get out of the way of the current existing flock. Introducing chickens to each other can look quite brutal. The older chickens will bully and attack the younger ones and that's just them asserting their authority over the new chickens and, and telling them who's boss. You'll probably hear them in the background there having a bit of a go. That will continue for quite a while and as it stands at the moment the younger ones still get a bit bullied in there at the moment but that's perfectly normal. That's keeping the hierarchy of the, the flock stable. The current flock will see them as a threat, they can see them as more chickens to take away their resources and it's disrupting the existing pecking order. So it's really important that the chickens that you're introducing have space. So there will be one chicken that is more likely to bully the others, that's the, the, the hen, that's the boss of the flock. Um, you need to keep an eye out for those and just make sure that they're not over bullying and causing real damage to the younger chickens. If that is the case, you need to take out those younger chickens and let them heal, let them regain their strength and then try to reintroduce again in the future. You'll find that a lot of the bullying will happen around the food and the water, so if you want to try and reduce that, you can have two sets of food and water. That way the younger chickens can still access the resources they need. If you don't have the space to allow the introduction to happen and chickens to run away from each other, you do need to make sure that you are introducing them gradually, and that's usually by creating some form of barrier between the existing flock and the new flock. That way they can see each other, but they can't get at each other. If you purchase point of lay chickens, you're probably expecting them to lay some eggs, but again, stress is a issue that will cause them to reduce their egg production because they're trying to hoard all of that energy rather than put it into egg production. And also if they're not eating and drinking as much, again, they'll conserve their resources and not produce the eggs. So you just need to wait a little while, give them time, give them space. Another way to help the integration is to give the flock things to do. If they're bored in their runs, they will more likely turn on each other uh, to alleviate some of that boredom, but also because they've got nothing else to distract them. So there are some tips from me on how to introduce new chickens to an existing flock. I hope that's been helpful. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.